Hello, this is Noseman for the Max on Training Team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create particle trails that inherit the color of the original particle. In this empty scene, I'm going to create a basic emitter, go to the emission and change this to become a sphere, and then I'm going to go to the simulate, and just to make it a bit more interesting, I'm going to add a turbulence only to this group. And if I rewind and press play, you're going to see that we get this very simple simulation. And if I change the parameters over here, you will see that the particles are going to wiggle around. Excellent. Now I'm going to change the particle group visibility to draw the radius. I'm going to tell the emitter to make the particles a bit chunkier. So they're going to be five centimeters and their color. I'm going to set it to random and go down here and load a preset. And it's going to choose random colors from one of the gradients I'm going to use. Now, if I rewind and press play, you will see that now colorful particles are just moving around. So my trails are going to be constructed by creating particles in each position of the particle. So I'm going to use the reproduce and I'm going to just name this repro and make sure the reproduce is under this particle group here, child of the particle group. Now let's go and change a few settings. I want to create one particle per particle per frame constantly. That's what I want to do. So if I rewind and press play now, we get this trail that is moving. And that's because by definition, the properties of the particle have a speed. I'm going to set this to zero and I'm going to go to the color and put the inheritance to hundred percent. So they inherit the color of the parent. And I'm also going to do the same thing for the radius. So when they are reproduced, they're going to inherit both the color and the radius. So let's rewind, press play, and you will see that we get these colorful trails. Now let's go here and activate the draw radius as well. So you can see now that these trails have the same color and the same radius, but I want to change a few things about them. I don't want them to grow constantly. I want these to have a certain length. And to achieve that, I'm going to tell the reproduced, the trail particles to die after a few frames. And let's set this to 10 frames. So our trails are going to be 10 frames long. Rewind, press play, and you'll see we have the trails. Now there is uh, one issue here that the trail is not dense enough and they're not getting smaller. So let's deal with the smaller first of all. Create a data mapper under the repro group and use the age percentage. So for those 10 frames from zero to 100% of their age percentage, I want their radius to go from five to one centimeter. And I'm gonna right click and make this linear. So now if I rewind and press play, you will see that they're getting smaller. So let's deal with the density now. And that's uh, not even very complex. All you have to do to increase the density of these particles is go to your project settings, simulation particles and increase the substeps. And I'm going to set this to 10. And now it's going to generate a particle every substep, not every frame. And now we have our trails. And if you go and render this, you're going to get that amazing squiggly worm flying effect. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.